Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to tie the double San Diego jam knot. Generally, I like to tie this knot on my rods before I go fishing since it requires some dexterity. I have another knot that I use if I'm out on the boat or in the field. But when I have time before fishing, I always seem to tie this one on. I've never broken it. The line will always break before the knot does. So here goes. So step one, double up the line, pass it through the eye of the hook and leave yourself plenty of line to work with. What you're going to do is create a loop by wrapping the working end of the line around your finger. I usually pull about six or seven inches of the working end to make the loop and I grab the standing end of the, end of the line about four inches down from the eye of the hook like this. Okay, so grab, form the loop around your finger, okay, and then get into step two which is actually wrap the working end of the line five times, okay? And while doing that, try to keep it from twisting. As you can see, I twist my finger around if I, if I get a twist in the line, okay? Once you're done wrapping it five times, we are going to do step three in which you're going to take the working end and pass it through the loop that was created at step one when you pass the line through the hook eye. This step gets a bit tricky. What you need to do is pass the working end of the line through the loop around your finger, grab it with your middle finger, slide it off your forefinger, grab the loop with your right hand, if you're right-handed, and here's where you start to draw it down and form the knot, pulling all ends simultaneously and together gently. We don't want to burn the knot, okay? We need to lubricate the knot and the line, okay? And then push the knot up close to the end of the hook eye, on continuously pulling and working the knot, teasing it up until you have a nice barrel knot formed at the hook eye. Now I've tested this knot over and over again in the field, in my shop with a scale. It never breaks. The line will break before the knot does. I can't say that about many other knots. A lot of guys like the Palomar knot, but there's a margin of error that if you don't get it right, it will break, and that scares me, okay? So this is why I use this knot whenever I can. Check out one of my other videos on the Jancic knot, which is the knot I'll use in the field, okay, guys? So save this in your favorite places and like the video if you like what you saw today. Cheers.